G'day folks, what's going on everybody? I'm Rob and I review stuff. So once again we are on the beer advent calendar journey and we are up to December 19. So it's the 19th beer in the beer advent calendar which rocks on all the way to Christmas Day. So let's grab today's beer which looks like a can today. So let's unwrap and see what's inside the tinny today. There we come. There we shine. Okay, what do we got here? We got what is this? Fox Hat Lusty Lager. So I think this is only our second lager going on today. Strong lager. 6% alcohol by volume, 48 IBUs. Oh, this looks very interesting, very funky artwork going on here with the pink and black attack going on there. A strong hoppy lager fermented, cool and clean and hoppy using a heavy hand. It's got a full on description there of what it looks like, what it should smell like, what it should taste like. I'm not going to read any of it. I'll make up my own mind this time around. And then we'll um, go through that just to compare. Crack that one open. Oh, don't overflow. In the glass. Oh, there we go. Uh, hopefully this lager's nicer than the only other lager we've had in the advent calendar. So, that is a bright sort of orange colour in the glass there. Pretty opaque and oh, not quite two fingers, but maybe one and a half. Nice white frothy head in the glass. Very clear. Carbonation looks mid to high in the glass, but we'll get a better idea of that in the taste. Let's have a smell. Hmm. Not a not a hugely strong aroma, but what I am getting is um yeah a bit of that hot sweetness. Getting a bit of a bit too deep in there with the nose. Hmm. Hmm. Not, not a huge aroma, I'm just getting like a very sort of light sweetness from the molten hops going on. Maybe a slight floral aroma as well. Very, very faint. Hmm. So, that's the nose. Looking a, a bright sort of burnt sort of orangey colour in the glass there, so let's get this guy down the hatch, the Fox Hat Lusty Lager. Cheers guys. Mm. That, that, that is a nice lager. Mm. Very smooth. Not a huge, not a huge amount of bitterness for something that's supposed to be 48 IBUs. It's there, but it's not definitely not overpowering. It's, yeah, very smooth. It's got a, a sweet finish to it, but it, it's very subtle. It lingers. It's very refreshing, this beer, for a beer that's 6%, getting up there in alcohol, but this is just a, a very nice, smooth drinking beer. Mm. A nice multi body, and then you're getting like a very nice, sort of lightly fruity kind of a finish to it. Mm. Yeah, little, very little to no, very little bit in this, I would say. It's there and it's gone. Very smooth finish. Mm. This is a Ripper Lager. I quite like this one. Certainly from a brewery that I've never heard of. Where are these guys based? 
Where are you? South Australia. Wollonga, South Australia. There's you guys. Yeah, just a very nice, maybe sort of a, maybe a touch of um, melony stone fruit flavour to the sweetness. Mm. That is really nice. Very, very nice. What's a can got to say? Gold and orange in colour. Yep. What's it saying on the nose? Apricot, melon, tropical fruits. Mm-hmm. Multi body. Clean and crisp finish. Yep. Tick, tick, tick. All good things. A very nice beer. Mmm, that is a good lager. From Fox Hat. That's the lusty lager in the can. I will happily enjoy this, and I can say without a doubt, the best lager of the advent calendar so far from the two that we've had. Not a lot of craft lagers out there. There are, there are out there, but not a lot in this advent calendar. It's all sort of been more... Um, you know, typical IPAs, you know, a few XPAs, pale ales, all those different variations there. But um, that'll do it for um, today's beer in the beer advent calendar. And um, as always with the beer advent calendar, we'll be back with the next one, which will be beer number 20. Cheers.